I am here in our kitchen with our nine week collie puppies and I have really dim lighting and I wish I would have had a chance to have some sunshine so I could get a better shot of their eyes outside. This litter was born September 6th out of our white and tricolor male and white and blue merle mother. This was their first litter together. Um, it's the sire's second litter. And all the puppies are very healthy and happy. That sable girl that you see there, that's actually not from this litter. She is actually another girl um, that we purchased from a different breeder uh, a few months ago there. And I'm going to try to get some shots of different puppies for you. Right here we have Bandit and Snowball, and I knew that they are going to come up to me. These guys love attention, so it's hard for me to get close to them without them jumping up. That is Snarf in the background there. Snarf is a puppy that we're considering keeping just because he's so much like uh, the mother, and I just really like him. Oh, stay down, stay down. So this is Snowball. He actually has mostly blue, turquoise blue eyes, but it's very hard to see in this light. And that's Bandit walking around. Bandit has tricolor on one side of his body. This was Dusty. Dusty was chosen by a Wisconsin family earlier today. Uh, but they do have the option to swap if they choose. This is Princess with the cutest little ears. As they grow, their ears will stand up and then they might have one up, one down. Uh, they might get awkward, tall. Their hair might look I'm sorry, their fur might look shorter one day and longer the next, but that's just part of the growing process. Usually they get really tall and skinny from four months old to about six or seven months old and they start filling out again. God, they're all jumping in the door. This was Duke. Duke is a nice, quiet little boy. He has mostly blue eyes also. Princess is still hanging out, chewing on a rawhide. Yes, I see you too. Oh, they're jumping up on me. And over there we have Buddy. Buddy is pretty rare. He actually is Blue Merle and Sable Merle. Um, and obviously he's a white collie. So the father actually carried the Sable Jean. So he actually came out with both colors, which is pretty neat. He has one blue eye and one brown eye. The Merles usually could have um, mixed eyes. The brown is still coming in. So sometimes their eyes could look cloudy in pictures or they might look a little discolored, but really that's the brown, uh, the brown pigment settling in. Bandit doesn't want to take any anything from that girl there. And there's a good shot of Buddy. Oh, pulling on the camera. Their personalities do change. Um, and I, I could say that one puppy is being hyper and then all of a sudden a family will come to see them and there's a bond there and the puppy just loves them and they kind of mellow out a little bit. So we can get a general feel of how the puppies are. Uh, we like to try to breed for more uh, therapy work, families, larger, busier, busier families, uh, really good companionship. So there are certain traits that we look for, but all of the puppies will grow up into very mellow, smart, devoted adults. We try to raise them to pay attention to people, you know, focusing on more of like the manners. So there again is, oh, Snowball keeps following me now, Snowball, and we have Princess, who probably knows her name. 
Duke. Duke knows his name. And we also call all the puppies by puppy, so then they'll know the word puppy and then also the name that we might be calling them while they're here. There's Bandit. Bandit is a big, playful guy, but he is mellow too. Um, he will just hang out and lay around with us, but he's just big. He's almost a little bit clumsy, and I shouldn't say that because I feel bad. He will grow out of that, but he just grew so fast. He's going to be a big boy. And that was Dusty. So those are our puppies.